Hello biologists, we are looking at 6.3.2, Populations and Sustainability, which is specification point E. We've, this is part two, we've already looked at point one, part one, which was the bits in green there from the specification point. We're now moving on to look at how the effects of human activities on animal and plant populations and how they're controlled within the Galapagos, Antarctica, Snowdonia National Park and the Lake District. The first one we're looking at is the Galapagos Islands and the Galapagos Islands is a very special place in the world because there's lots of endemic species that are found there, such as the blue-footed booby, the giant land tortoise and also the frigate bird. It's a beautiful place to go and obviously you're not going to see them anywhere else in the world. However, because it is such a beautiful place, lots of people have decided to move there. So we've got a lot of habitat and ecosystem destruction for buildings and roads. We've also got, also got deforestation for land of the land, which is going to be used for farming to provide food for these people. And also overgrazing of the introduced species that are brought there to feed the people that live there as well. This will outcompete the native species. This is in a red box here on the right hand side because it's taken directly from the mark scheme. So it's well worth taking a look at that. We also get an increase in the number of boats that are present within the waters surrounding the islands. This isn't only due to the inhabitants that live there, but also due to tourism. And because of the increase in boats, we get more pollution, more sewage in the sea, and also an increased chance of oil spills. All of these not great for the marine life. We have overfishing, a collection of eggs. For example, here you can see someone collecting turtle eggs, um, which can be known as a delicacy. We've got competition from introduced species, which can outcompete the native ones, which obviously you can't find them anywhere else. So that's not great. And you can have introduction of um, new pathogens or diseases such as bird flu. Uh, the endemic species of the Galapagos have never experienced that before. So it can lead to the uh, fatality of the species. Now controlling the impact of this, we have introduction of park rangers. Um, and also limiting human access to particular islands to help protect those endemic species that live there. There's also quite strict, uh, strict controls on migration, so us going there, but also the introduction of animals. And they've introduced, I know this is a dog, but mainly to do with uh, birds uh, and other animals that are brought in. They have quarantine now, so that you can't just take them straight onto the island, but you have to quarantine them for a, a certain amount of time before you, they can then be released. Okay, so Antarctica is the next one that we need to look at. And the big problem here to do with human need was the, the whaling industry. Again, that's massively demolished uh, now. But whaling industry and also overfishing has massively impacted the populations of whales and fish. Um, however, now there are bans on whaling and there's also quite heavy restrictions on fishing and when you can fish and where you can fish. Um, although there's not many people that live in Antarctica, it is, it is visited uh, by tourists and um, waste is encouraged to be taken with you when you leave and also boats are encouraged to not dump their waste in the sea so to make it an ideal place for these whales and fish to build up their population numbers. The last two I've combined together and this is because they're very similar in terms of what's going on there. So we've got the Snowdonia National Park and also the Lake District. These are beautiful areas of the country, um, which which uh, lots of people go to visit every year. Um, so when we you do go to the Lake District or the Snowdonia National Park, it's important that you use the pass to protect native species and native plant species. It's important we take the litter back with you or it's placed in bins. And there's also speed limits in some of the boats just to protect the areas that are surrounding the lakes, the actual lakes themselves, and any animals or fish that live in those waters. So guys, that's it for specification point E. This is the last one on A2 specification. So guys, please, please remember in your exams, do not use the word it, they, size or amount. Use good biological terminology and good luck with your studies, guys. Make sure you're revising and you're going to do well for your exams. Good luck. I believe you'll all do really well.